I feel like I look like Arno from Hey Arno. <laughs> this is the era of my life where we're just having fun. Um, just know that if I can't see, at least I look cute, right? <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Onika all right so as you can see from the title this is gonna be like a travel prep vlog and today well I have work after this so I already kind of like brushed up my hair and tied it down so you'll see what it's looking like when I'm heading to work but I'm just gonna do a quick look at DIY uh, because I have been keeping up with my appointments and I've been like maintaining my hair removal so I don't really have that much hair to remove so I'm just gonna spruce it up a little bit um, right before I jump right into doing all of that I just wanted to just do let you guys have an idea what has I've been up to I am super excited for this trip that is coming up is for my bestie you guys will see soon uh, where we're going but it's for her birthday and I'm super excited to go. Um, like I have been thrilled. I'm like, she's like, I want to go XYZ, and I'm like, I'm there, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> however, unfortunately, it's like I've been torn as well because unfortunately, um, my family and I we have been dealing with a massive, massive loss in our family. Um, I lost my very sweet little nephew. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have an idea of what his journey was like. I also still have his GoFundMe page up in my bio on Instagram. So if you'd like to check that out, you can. So I'm just asking that you guys just keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And, you know, just... Just... Your loved ones ensure that you just enjoy every single second, every single day that you have with them because you never know what day will be their last, you know? So, yeah, so I've been dealing with that as well. So, it's a lot, but, you know, just taking it one day at a time and just, you know, leaving it all to God, trusting in God, finding comfort in God, and, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to start with my brows. As I said, I've been keeping up with my appointment, so it's really not a lot of hair to remove. I'm still going to bring you guys with me and show you guys how I try to prep for vacation or my trip. Alright? in there and it just pulls all the hair up on <laughs> all right so for my legs I like to epilate those in the shower so I'm gonna do that and then have a shower shortly after for my Brazilian area or from you know down there I recently did a Brazilian so and luckily you know after doing it over time the hair growth is slowed so there is really not much to remove um it's not time for me to go back to get a Brazilian as yet so that part should be fine um but you know if I need to spruce up anything like the bikini line like the part that will be exposed in your bikini and stuff like that then of course I'll remove any little hairs there. All right, so I'm about to head out. I have a few errands to do before I head to work. Boy, my hair just had gross out. Jeez, my face. I don't mind, but it's growing really quickly. 
Alright, so what I did, I used like a one of those very slim headbands that I had. Um, I cut it and I tied it at the back. I don't know if you guys can see. To kind of just push it back. Um, yeah, my hair is overdue for washing and styling, but this is what I'm working with. And then I'm going to put on this very cute little headband. I got it as a set from Amazon. They come in multiple colors. And this is the, the one I'm wearing today. And yeah, so I'm about to head out for work. Even though I have to stop somewhere before and you know, adulting. So yeah. Yeah, so your girl still gotta work in between prepping for her trip. So I'll be back when I have more travel prep right. to show you guys. Hey guys, so First of all, I am super, 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 super tired. <laughs> I came in, I came in after work last night and I washed my hair and blow dried it. So this is how it's looking in its stretched state. I mean, the blow dryer I have doesn't have a comb, so I had to like use my brush and dry it. So yeah, so I'm heading to my appointment. No, um, I'm gonna try and attempt to put on this hat. I don't know. I feel like I look like Arna from Hey Arna <laughs> with this hair. Let's see if the hat can fit on my head. On all this hair. Mm -hmm. Yep, as I thought. I didn't really put that much product in my hair. Let's put some leave-in conditioner when I was blow drying it last night. Because I know it breaks. I don't think you want your hair to be too greasy and stuff, so. This is not working. And then if I open this, my hair is going to get stuck in this part. Um, let's see if I can catch up the top a bit and then put on the hat. In times like these, I remember why I locked this hair up. Because all this nonsense fell up. Okay, alright, we're here, we're at something, we're doing something here. Um, actually can't wait for my hair to grow back, guys. It's like growing and it's just at this really awkward length that I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but yes, I ended up catching it up. The part that can be caught up and then just latch the hat at the back. Yeah, so this is what we're working with for now. To the salon! <laughs> Alright, let me go because I don't want to be late, so be right back. y'all here in the air i apologize it's really hot but yeah so i just finished work finished early today and i'm heading to go get my nails done um i'm not even sure what exactly i'm gonna do but something simple but i'm doing my refilling my nails they need to be done like asap look at them and i'm gonna repolish my toes as well i didn't come back on here to speak to you guys about my hair yesterday because the evening got busy there was a lot of rain and i had some other errands to sort out but i'm pretty sure i i have a little clip that i did because i posted it on tiktok 
and the YouTube shorts. So you can always go check that out as well. But you could probably tell that I was feeling my hair. So yes, I really like it. I love the ombre ends as well because I wanted to have the same look as what my natural hair was with the bleached or highlighted ends and then the black roots. Yeah, oh, I'm using my phone by the way. I didn't bring my camera today. So I'm using the back camera, so I'm praying I'm in the frame. But yeah, so I really like it. I'm not really a middle part girly, so I'm trying to get used to that and how it's framing my face. I feel like I look like a child. I feel like I look like a young baby and a lot of people have been telling me this, but I don't mind. I don't mind people telling me that I look younger than my actual age. Y'all can tell me that until I'm 60. I have no problem <laughs> with that. But yeah, um, the hair is pretty much long as well. Like I think it's a little bit longer than I'm used to. Not think it is. Um, I actually wanted it a little bit shorter, but the girls doing my hair, they were showing me the length and they are like, why not do it? You know, and I'm like, okay, fine. Why not? Let's have fun. So this is the era of my life where we're just having fun. Um, just going with the flow, trying not to overthink and just, you know, cause I'm about to be 30 this year. Yes. And I just want to go into my thirties. Um, stop, you know, questioning everything, second guessing everything and just enjoy myself, try new things, new food, new styles, just trying stuff and just go with whatever flows, you know? So yeah, so anyway, let me head to this nail appointment. I'm so excited to get my nails done. Like, I cannot wait. Like, I really look forward to doing my nails. Like, it's so therapeutic for me. You guys have no idea. <laughs> All right, let me stop chatting off your heads and head to this appointment. All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna be finishing up my packing and I want to show you guys some other stuff that I'm bringing and like my essentials and stuff like that. I just want to say off the bat, this is my least favorite part of traveling. I don't like to pack. I feel like I don't know how to pack light. I always, for some reason, ended up, end up over packing. <laughs> so let's see how best I can get this done. Also, I had forgotten to mention that this style wasn't a style that I initially wanted. I actually wanted to get stitch braids, but the main braider who does the stitch braids, she was not available. And there was nobody else there that could do it. So I had to settle for the not less braids, but I still like it. It's definitely giving. And I love how they blended the color, how I wanted it and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really happy with my hair. Alright, so I think I want to start off with makeup. I start with the face. I already have like my clothes and everything that I'm wearing packed in the suitcase. It's right here in front of me on the floor. So yeah, so we have our e.l.f. color corrector here. Our brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sephora eyebrow pencil. Okay, yummy skin tint. Yeah, Yummy Skin Skin Tint from Danessa Marics. My regular foundation from Haslab. My concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Bronzer from Say Beauty. My translucent powder from Laura Mercier. So I'm putting them all in this little makeup bag, by the way. Because I realize that how I have the camera, you guys can't really see. My makeup by Mario Blush Powder. And my Sephora blush as well. I have my Fenty mascara, which I love so much. And my LA Girl eyeliner. Oh, how for, could I forget my e.l.f. primer? This is actually a new one that I bought. Because the one that I have currently is almost done. So I just bought a brand new pack. So I'll just drop that in there. Um, I have my lip glosses. All from Fenty. Can you guys see? From Fenty Beauty, which I love, was a trio pack that I got. 
So one is the heat, so it's like a clear gloss. It might not look very clear because I always use it with my brown lip liner. This one I think is the original, which is Pink Dragonfly. And then this one is a cr the cream. And this is in Fenty Glow. Also have my Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray. And I also bought the one size setting spray. I tried it once since I've gotten it, but it was in the night and it was only for two hours. So I'm excited to see how this holds up. Like when I have a full day doing activities on the trip. And then I can know for sure. Like everybody swears by it. And I'm excited to see how it holds up my makeup. Also, I'm going to bring my little tweezer that I use every now and then if I need to like take out any sparse hairs that might be growing back in my brows. I have my makeup sponge. This one is a brand new one that I took from what I have. This one is already used, but it's not super used up. So I'm still going to bring that. I'm also taking a new puffer as well to help set my makeup, set my powder. Of course, my regular makeup brushes that I use. It has a thing at the side here, so I'm just gonna put them there. All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. And I'm just gonna close it up. And that's it for my makeup. Alright, so next up is skincare. So I'm gonna put them in this little bag right here. Alright, so I have these wrist scrunchies. Like whenever I wash my face, it helps to um, catch some of the water that might be running down. I have these pimple patches as well. I'm not gonna bring it in the box. I'm just gonna put it like this. into the, the bag I ended up buying this set on Sephora on the same Laneige products that I said I was really enjoying I really bought it for this to be honest which is the moisturizer this is the mini size I am obsessed with the packaging right I haven't used it as yet because I still have the the sample size that I was using or the trial size so yep it also came with another trial size of the toner which I've grown to love so I've been using both of them and it came with another lip balm and a dree it's like a sleeping mask that you can wear at night I'm not gonna bring these with me and I'm not gonna open this because I've already started using the first one that I showed you guys so I'm gonna bring that also got this trial size set of fill face wash on target to wash my face this is so cute right <laughs> also have these gentle skin wipes which can be used on face and body but it can also be used to remove makeup so yeah so we're kind of going into body now so I bought I have this trial size body wash from Olay as well as I'm bringing of course my black girl sunscreen which I can use both on my face and my body also saw this sun bum sunscreen um, in trial size that I wanted to try I'm definitely gonna use this on my body first though I haven't tried it on my face and my face is very sensitive so I definitely still brought my black girl sunscreen because I'm already used to this, but I'm going to try this out as well. I also have this Vaseline Advanced Repair Lotion for my body in trial size as well. And then I saw this on Sephora. I've always wanted to try it out. It's from the Way brand. They had like a trial size that I could get with my purchase. So this is the body cream from Way, and this is the body cleanser. Yeah, so I'm bringing these as well. 
All right, and then this is a insect repellent that I got in the supermarket. It's called Blue Mountain Aromatics, and I got it in the chart size as well. And hand sanitizer. This I may keep on my. I'm gonna put it in this bag, but I may keep it on me because. We need sanitizer, but I have multiple sanitizers. I have this one as well, and I have some other little pocket ones. So I always have sanitizer on me. So yeah. So this is my skincare slash body care bag. And there's still a lot of space left in case I need to add anything else last minute. Um oh how can I forget? Toothbrush. So I'm gonna take one from this. This has two. And my toothpaste. Um, I wanted to get a mini size, but I didn't see any in the supermarket when I went recently. But my best friend, my friend, she said she's gonna buy mini toothpaste, so she might bring one for me. But for now, let's put this in my bag. Also have this mini deodorant from Degree, and this body butter from Josie Maron. It smells so good so so good guys like i'm definitely can't wait to buy the bigger jar in this oh my gosh this is a must-have i can understand the hype it's pretty good i almost forgot to add this <laughs> all right so we're getting a bit full now yeah so i'm gonna take this apart and put the toothbrush and then that's it for my body care all right and skincare this bag, I also got it from Amazon, so it's really cute. And the makeup bag I got from Walmart. I'm also taking some little panty liners with me. All right, and that completes my bag. I have a few little medications that I'll be bringing with me. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time I traveled, I got so sick, so I'm not even playing any games this time around. And it's so funny because I'm literally a pharmacist. I work in the pharmacy every day, and I didn't have any meds with me when I was <laughs> traveling the last time. I am playing this time. My Ventolin inhaler. I am an asthmatic. I haven't had a attack in a really good while, which is awesome. Pray that none comes as well, but it's always good to be prepared. So I have my Ventolin. I also have my vitamins, I leave liquid gel if I'm feeling pain, set a mall cold and flu, God forbid I get sick, and I also have some Glenset which I've been, I've had this for a little while, I always take it when my sinuses is acting up, um, this one, the Glenset, it has levosotorazine in there, so we have it as Glenset here in Jamaica, so for the vitamins the one a day women and the aleve i have them packed out in these little pill bags because i'm not gonna bring the whole package with me i also have some um gravel i actually have this packed out like this which is what i was showing you guys a while ago oh so i showed you the aleve the gravel the generic gravel and then this one is the vitamin that is packed out, the one a day woman. So, yeah. so I'm gonna just put them in this little bag here. And I think I might bring these on my in my personal bag instead of in the suitcase. Since I'll need these if there's an emergency, I don't want them to be in my checked bag. And then this I forgot to mention this as well. This could be in my body care slash skincare bag. It's aqua for ointment. I love this ointment so much. Really good for dry, cracked skin. Oop. This one is like a two pack. So I'm gonna put one in my body care, skincare bag, and keep one in this. It's about that as well. Oop. I'm also bringing my cuticle oil. I forgot what this was. My cuticle oil for my nails, you know. Can't have dry cuticles at all. And then this is my little jewelry purse. Or jewelry case, I should say. I think I've showed you guys this before on my channel. So, this is like the main jewelry that I'm bringing. 
which I've kind of started using this like as a regular everyday jewelry case because these are what I keep wearing over and over. Um, I still have like some other pieces like um, gold bangles, gold bracelet that I may add to this when I'm bringing it. I've finished with my essentials, which is my skincare, body care, makeup. So as I said, I already have most of my clothes in the suitcase. So all I have left to add now is underwear and shoes. And then I'm gonna kind of show you guys what my suitcase is looking like. And yeah. Oh, I just also randomly wanted to show you guys this glasses. This might be in my personal bag as well. Cause you guys know I can't see without my glasses. But I bought these on Amazon. Cause I'm like, I don't really have any shades that I really use. Um, I have bought shades before, but a lot of times I don't wear it cause I have my glasses and it has um, transition lens in there but I'm like you know sometimes you can switch it up and have a different look so I saw these and they were super cute they have them in multiple colors so I wanted to try it out with the black first and oh so yes I'm like these are coming with me these are coming with me so yeah I can't wait to wear these um, just know that if I can't see at least I look cute right <laughs> So this is what I'm taking as my, um, I guess you can say it's like my personal bag. It's just a regular knapsack. So I'm just going to put like all my other things that I don't want to put in my checked luggage. So I think I'm going to keep my jewelry with me and this little cuticle oil, the hand sanitizer that I'm talking about. I have like my other lip gloss, like my Summer Fridays um, lip Butter balm. I might have that in this bag as well. Of course, you know, my passport will be in this personal bag. Money, my everyday purse. Um, what else? Like, you know, personal things, my keys to my apartment, <laughs> and also more likely my camera. I usually keep my camera in this little bag and like the batteries. I may also bring this little bag that I always keep like my charger and camera stuff like to charge the batteries and stuff like that and then I think I may have these in my bag in my personal bag as well and then this is a tripod because more than likely I'm gonna be using it to try and film while we're traveling and this is like an attachment that can be used for my phone this of course will be in the bag this is the medication bag that I was just showing you I will be bringing my iPad with me So that will go in this bag as well. I told you guys that I'm not playing this time around, okay? So I have these masks that I'm bringing. I also have some more black masks as well. So I will be adding those to my bag. I have this little Bath & Body Lotion. In, this one is Coco Shea. So I'm bringing this one in my personal bag as well. Just in case, you know, my hand gets dry. And this is the lip butter balm I was talking about that I always use by Summer Fridays. I'll be taking this in my personal bag as well. My purse, as I mentioned earlier. And of course, hair ties. How can I forget about hair ties? Like, hello. I'm going to need it because I might be catching up my hair. Oh, I'm going to add my perfumes in this bag as well. I don't think I want to put my perfumes in my check luggage at all. But they will be under the limit. Um, the limit is 3.4 ounces, which is about 100 ml. So they're under that. So I'm going to show you guys the perfumes that I'm taking. This is my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush in 71. It smells so good. <laughs> this is the 90 ml size. So I'm taking that. And I'm also taking my Jo Malone Peony Blush and Suede Cologne. Love this down. The size is a 30 ml, so that's good as well. And then my Miss Dior. This size is 100 ml, so I can't take it. But I was get, this came in like the packaging. It's like a we call it like a atomizer, a travel size atomizer thing. Maji, can you see it? And it says Dior at the bottom. It's so cute. You guys see the impression? Yeah, Dior. So I'm taking this instead of this 
Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm still gonna be smelling like Dior. But in this very, it's like so cute and feminine and girly. Like I love it so much. So yeah, so I'm gonna be leaving this hair. Oh, these are the bags that I'm taking with me. My Michael Kors bag that I've been wearing everywhere. My little Niners bag that I also have been wearing everywhere. And this little bag. I got it in like Marshalls or Ross, I don't remember. I forgot to mention this cute little um, beach bag or like poolside bag that I bought on Amazon as well. I'll be bringing this when like to bring my little essentials when I'm going on the pool or at the poolside. I need to bring like my sunscreen, my lip gloss, you know, personal girly things. I'm just gonna drop this right here somewhere in the suitcase. I think this is where it gets tricky because I want to bring all of these shoes. My Nike sneakers, of course. These are my Adidas sneakers as well. These clear heels that basically will go with anything. My pewter Bridget sandals, my tan Bridget sandals, and my Steve Madden flats. So let's see how best we can put this, put these in the space that we have left. <laughs> Alright, so I rearranged the shoes a bit after putting them in bags. So some of them are below the bags that I'm bringing, if you guys can see. So I've added my underwear right here. And I have some socks, some regular plain socks I got from Target, white, black, gray. So, I'm just gonna stuff these in like the corners of my suitcase. Alright, since my hair is braided, I completely forgot <laughs> about bringing anything for my hair. Um, I have this meal organic oil. Um, this is a 59 mil, so I think I'm gonna bring it in my um personal bag as well just to ensure that my scalp is okay while i'm there because i know it's gonna get dry and then for edges this is almost done and this is 80 mil so i can put this in my personal bag as well um but this is my new edge control that i use but it's 150 mil which means that i can't bring this whole thing in my personal luggage Cause it's over the 100 mil plus it's kind of big so what i think i'm gonna do is this is basically out i'm gonna scrape some of the gummy wax into this as much as possible and then just bring this with me instead <laughs> um yeah i don't think it should mix and cause any like residue i hope but i'm gonna put as much in there and just use it from the top and bring this so I'm just going to put these two into my bag, my personal bag, for my hair. And that definitely completes my packing. And this edge brush that I bought, which I completely forgot about, will be going into my personal bag as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's basically it for my packing. So yeah, and that's basically it for this little travel prep vlog. Um, I feel like it was a bit chaotic. I don't know, especially this packing portion. Because as I said, I don't really like packing, so. <laughs> but I did my best. And yeah, so I'm all set for my trip. And the next time you guys see me, we will be in Colombia. <laughs> 
I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Like, you know, like I've always wanted to do um, my traveling and it's really nice to see like your plans and your dreams and all that just, you know, taking your time, taking its time to fulfill and come to fruition. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. Um, this destination though was her choice because it's for her birthday, but I am very much open to traveling and trying new places and i've always heard good things about colombia and it's a good destination to visit so yeah so make sure you guys come back to see what my trip is like in colombia and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this travel prep video um yeah and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i'll see you all in my next video bye